She wrote the bitter vintage of the grapes of wrath. She coined the lightning's terrible swift sword. Her name was Julia Ward Howe, and the battle hymn she wrote once helped our sons to fight the Civil War. These fighting words that poured out so swiftly from her pen went to the waiting watchfires of Bull Run. From Shiloh to the wilderness to the fields of Gettysburg, in every Union camp her song was sung. But she looked back in sorrow and wished she'd found these words before. May every hymn of battle become a prayer for peace that never sends another soul to war. She had seen too much of killing and the toll that war exacts and seeking ways to make the carnage cease. Julia called to every woman across this war-torn earth to gather in a Mother's Day for peace. Arise with me, arise, O oh, women who have hearts. Our, our losses age us far beyond our years. We can no longer justify the cannon's fearsome roar, nor use our nation's flag to dry our tears. Let us look toward tomorrow and join together shore to shore. Till every hymn of battle becomes a prayer for peace that never sends another soul to war. For 30 years, brave mothers met together every June. Then Woodrow Wilson named a holiday that changed this great assembly of women against war into a card and candy, chocolate-filled cliche. But if we love our mothers, and of course we do, when we celebrate them every month of May, Remember Julia Ward Howe and the dream she dreamed that Mother's Day might make war go away. Mother's Day might make war go away. have seen the glory of what this world could be when the sacred goal we're striving for transfigures you and me when the work that women do for peace shall make all people free as we go marching on take it away Glory, glory, hallelujah, as we 